Welcome. Today I want to talk to you about account trees in Calxa. Account trees let you rearrange your chart of accounts from your accounting system and set something up that suits what you want. So we go to the account tree screen and create new and you'll see this time we're choosing a fully allocated, fully unallocated account tree. That means that we're starting from scratch with nothing pre-allocated. If we took the fully allocated option, that would give us our original account structure and we could then just edit that. But this lets us start with brand new header accounts. So what we're effectively doing here is adding a new set of header accounts into the account tree. We can add subheaders or child accounts to any header that we add in. And later on, we'll move all our detail accounts under one of these headers so that we can rearrange how things are reported. And this is important for, um, for example, for grant providers who want their reports in particular sequence, or if you're using something like the standard chart of accounts, which maybe isn't naturally suitable for management reporting, you may want to set up an account tree that suits the way your board wants to see the management accounts. So we go through, just right click there and add new accounts. You can delete accounts once you've created them, you can move them around. It's a very simple process, um, nothing complicated about it, it's just add the new accounts, add child accounts to those. The number sequence determines how they appear in the reports. Once you've created them, just drag your other accounts over under those headers. If you drag a, a heading account, it'll take all the child accounts with it, all the detail accounts. You can select multiple accounts by clicking one and then shift click or control click and just put the accounts that you want, just drag them across or if you don't like dragging so much, you can right click and move them. When you save, if you've got a header account that doesn't have any details, you'll uh, get a warning. So each header account has to have at least one detail account under it. Once you've finished your account structure, we'll go to reports and see how you use it. So if we go to run this report, first with our original accounts tree, so that's the one that's come, the chart of accounts from our accounting file. We're going to run this report at level three, just so we get the subheadings out of our accounting file. And when we preview it, you'll see there is our normal standard account list from the accounting file. But that's not what we need on this particular occasion. So what we do is go back to the report criteria, change to our new customized account tree, display that, and you'll see now we get the new heading accounts. So we get the heading accounts that we want to see. So you've got huge amount of flexibility now in how you portray your reports. So that's it for account trees. I hope you find them really useful.